So what is going on everyone, this is Fabi here and today we're going to take a look at uh, Real Racing 3 for the iOS platform and I'm personally going to take a look at the iPhone 5 version and uh, this looks honestly just great but uh, even though I do like this game, don't get me wrong, it's an awesome game, it has a big drawback but we're going to talk about that at the end of this video because I firstly want to uh, talk or focus on the positive side of this game because they honestly have done a lot of great things to improve the franchise and so, the first one is probably the graphics, you know, they've said before that this game is going to have console-like graphics, and that is honestly true, especially on the newer devices, this game looks, plays, and just feels awesome, it feels like they specifically made it so that it feels great, and it does, obviously it does, and another thing is that they have so many tracks and so many cars, and they look just awesome, you know, the graphics and the, the textures of the of the cars and of the maps look awesome. They have a nice feel to them, each and every one of them seems sort of personalized. And again, with real racing, you're honestly always going to have um, good controls and, and uh, realistic sort of... Um, physics and stuff like that so that is the great part of the game and also you have time shift the multiplayer which uh, even though you don't have multiplayer like real multiplayer in the game they do have time shift the multiplayer and that kind of makes up for it and what uh, TSM or time shift the multiplayer is it's pretty much you're playing against um, ghost cars but it's more than that you can actually bump into those cars and the AI takes um, you know control of the car and picks it brings it back on track and what it actually does is it makes it so that the game is not as repetitive because if you play real racing, let's say, uh, normally, you would probably realize that each and every car takes the same exact path. They don't, you know, go away or go off their path. And so playing against real people is a nice feature. And um, one of the big drawbacks, again, that I have to talk about, um, unfortunately, is the fact that this game is cluttered with in-app purchases and um, as many people say, you know, in-app purchases in the freemium uh, system is probably going to kill the gaming on the mobile platforms because it is just bad. I mean, if you want to play this game and if you really, really want to play it non-stop, you have to play a lot for it. And obviously, you can finish the game without paying, but it's probably not going to be a seamless experience. And one thing that I do like the, uh, about this game is that uh, since the beta, they have made it so that you don't have to wait for repairs anymore, which is a good um, update. And it shows that EA and Fire Monkeys and the Fire Mint are listening to the feedback of the community. And I do like that. But I honestly want them to release just a full version of the game that I can pay 7 bucks or however many bucks you want to ask me for on and just have the full game experience. But anyways guys, if you like this video, this was a uh, first impression of Real Racing 3. If you want some more videos, just make sure to leave a comment down below and also make sure to like this video, share it with your friends on Facebook and on Twitter and subscribe to my channel for new stuff and make sure to stay tuned and look at my awesome Ford Focus. But anyways guys, peace out guys, peace, make sure to have an awesome day and uh, stay tuned peeps.